the HubSpot email extension for Gmail puts a light version of your HubSpot portal right there in your Gmail inbox. This video will show you how to manage your log and track settings. We'll also show you some of the features and benefits that are now available to you once you have this extension downloaded and installed. Check it out. Once you have downloaded the Gmail extension and installed it simply by entering your email as well as your password and accepting the permissions, you will now notice, if you go to your Gmail inbox, you'll notice this circular sprocket right here, which allows you access to additional tools. This is what the extension does for you. Please notice this green light basically indicating that your extension is working and it is operational. Every once in a while, you'll notice this green light might change. And all that means is that you need to update your permissions to have it working again. So the first thing that you should do is click on this sprocket. And this is where you will find your HubSpot extension settings. Go into log and track settings. Click here. Now by default, these two buttons will be turned on. And what that means is every single email that you send will be logged and will be tracked. And so if HubSpot doesn't know the contact or recognize the email address, it will create a contact. It doesn't matter if you're emailing, if you use your work email to set up appointments with your dentist, HubSpot will then make your dentist a contact within your business HubSpot portal. And of course, if that's something that you don't want, go ahead and enter your dentist's email address here and add them to the never log list. Before you do that, make sure that you turn these off. And so now you can control and manage and decide what emails need to be logged and what emails need to be tracked. What a lot of organizations do is they put their organization's domain name here. This way, internal emails will not be logged and tracked, and you and your team can easily email each other without having to worry that you're going to have a new contact created for every person on your team. Once that is all set, go ahead and click the circle again, and you're good to go. When you are composing an email within Gmail, if the contact is recognized by HubSpot, meaning it is already in your HubSpot portal, come over to this tab over here and you will get a light version or just a quick rundown of the information that you have in your HubSpot portal about this contact. So you can check this contact's timeline. You can also see some information about them. And in addition to that, you can see what deals, tasks, and tickets are associated with this contact. Again, it's like having a light version of your HubSpot portal right here in your Gmail inbox. Also, when you are composing a message, you have all the tools that you have set up in your HubSpot portal available to you right here in your Gmail inbox. So if you've set up any templates, if you've set up any sequences or uploaded documents or created any meeting links or even some snippets, they're all available to you using this tool. And finally, when managing your log and track settings, when you are composing an email, you can simply just click on the log and track settings if you feel that this is an email that needs, if this is, for example, a business-related email that needs to be logged and tracked. And when you turn off this log setting, HubSpot will ask you if you would like to add this recipient to the never log list. It's a nice little feature right there. And so I hope this helps you manage your log and track settings and also how to use the HubSpot email extension.